sit-down interviews. Our first guest tonight is a fort stand-up comedy, the late-night comic. Three, two, one. Debuting his new club on the Vegas Strip. You know, I grew up in Las Vegas, and I always kind of fantasize about having my name on one of these buildings here in Las Vegas. And, you know, I'm not a magician. So can you show us around a little bit? Yeah, I'll show you around, sure. This is a microphone. <laughs> For Kimmel, the club feels a lot like home because, in a way, it is. So let me show you what my house looks like because we have a bar. It's a bar next to my house. And when I, I came here for the first time, it's identical to my home. Even the shelves are stocked with props from shows that made him famous. We tried to fill this club with all the stuff my wife doesn't want in our house. Comic Sarah Silverman, Pete Holmes, and Chris Tucker took the stage Friday night. Kimmel's TV family also showing up. Oh, the is great. It's fantastic. Along with his real family, one of the opening acts, his sister Jill. Who do you want to impress more than your big brother? This is the green room. This is a nice green room. Now I take it all comedy club green rooms are not this nice. I have a feeling it won't be nice in about six months' time, though. Comedians are not what you might call hygienic. Vegas is also where one of Kimmel's comedy idols played for nearly six decades, the late Don Rickles. But as I look at you now, you kind of got a nose here. <laughs> what do you think Don Rickles would, would think about this? He would hate everything about it, and I would love to, I wish he could be here uh, tonight. For Good Morning America, he's Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Las Vegas. That's the best I got. I'm excited about that so much. I love how he said he was going to put all the stuff that his wife didn't 